Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 in the last session. We wrapped up the main plot thread from the Citadel DLC and it was absolutely fantastic. That was definitely my favourite DLC of all the DLCs. Definitely glad I left that till last. So much fun. What do, what do you have to say? Commander, if you would like to begin the party... You will need to purchase supplies on the strip first. Right, yes. Yeah. So, it turns out we're not done. I have done. already placed credits in your account for this purpose. Ah, awesome. Uh, yeah, it turns out we are not done yet. We are going to be throwing a party. To properly celebrate shore leave, crew members have suggested throwing a party. Gather party ingredients and invite friends over. Cool. Let's go and do that then. Boop. Uh, wait, this is not somewhere we've been before, right? <laughs> Love a nice spinning bed. Wonder why the bed is spinning so much faster than the chair at the end there. Howdy. We're happy to fulfill all your household needs. I'm glad to hear it. Okay, right. Yep, this is... <laughs> I was I was mentioning about this before, like... The, there, were, there were a lot of things you could change, but nothing that actually... Uh, like, did anything, I guess? Okay, uh, well, polished vanity or deluxe vanity... Uh, deluxe. I mean, we've got the cash, so let's fucking spunk it, you know. Simple bedding. What bedding do we have at the moment? Fuck it, I'll buy it. Uh, vibrant kitchen or wholesome kitchen? Let's go vibrant. I don't know if there's other going to be other places where we can uh, buy stuff as well, but we'll see. Cozy sofa. Posh sofa. Oh yeah, we're going posh. We're going expensive up in this bitch. Basic recliner. Do we already have a posh recliner or something? Or just a fucking... I, 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 I never understood why people buy these. Do you really like not having a back where you're sitting? Like, do you like leaning back and falling off your chair? Let's go with that. Light coffee table. I don't remember what we have at the moment. <laughs> My memory is terrible. We'll just buy it all, anything that we're not sure about, and then we can uh, we can look when we're actually deciding. Artistic shelving, that looks pretty cool. Amber accent wall, sure. So the only thing we haven't bought are the ones that are duplicates of other things. Honestly, maybe I would actually like this sofa more. I'm going to buy this sofa. And then there's only three things left. So you know what? Even though I'm <laughs> just for collection purposes, I'm just going to buy it all. Just for collection purposes. Oh, but oh, it's the bit from the it's from the loading screen. Oh, sick. Oh, that's really cool. Huh. I was not expecting that. Okay, uh, it looks like there's an Avena over there, so let's go have a chat. Hi, what are you doing here? <laughs> Is this like the first time we've seen a Vulture on the Citadel? Might be. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Silver Sun Strip. The Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board has declared Silver Sun Strip a top Citadel attraction. It is known for its wide variety of entertainment facilities and vibrant nightlife. Any other important areas I should know about? The Normandy is currently docked in D24, which is tagged to your biometrics. Docking bay E24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons has been a cultural main... I'm pretty sure we've heard most of this bit before, right? But we'll just go through it anyway, because it's been a while. Do you have any information on purgatory? The term purgatory is present in many civilizations with varying associated uses and meanings. No, the bar called purgatory. <laughs> the Citadel tourist and I don't think we've heard this bit. No 
by that name on its list of approved nightlife entertainment facilities. <laughs> it's, it's not approved. Okay. Any good restaurants? The Ryusei Sushi Restaurant is often cited as a local favorite. Unfortunately, it is currently undergoing repairs due to extensive water damage and miscellaneous <laughs> destruction. Yeah, miscellaneous destruction sounds about right. What else is in the area? Silver Sun Strip is a popular destination with both tourists and longtime residents of the Citadel. Its most well known attraction is the Silver Coast, a high end casino and entertainment facility. Is that where I lost all that money? Feels bad. That's it. Thanks. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. So I'm deployed to a hotspot in Bavaria. My usual squad's on medical, so I'm stuck with any N7s mm -hmm. who are nearby. Hello. I just wanted a nice, smooth mission. You know, professional. Ended up a damn train wreck. We're fighting for the fate of the galaxy. You'd think we could handle one mission as a coherent fighting unit. Squad, baby good. Random group. Never good. Indeed. <laughs> So true, so deep, so real. What have we got here? Oh, rapid transit. No, thank you. Beautiful car. Really? Why exactly? It's a Mark II 2187 Blackout. Top speed is 650 clicks. Come on. Top flight called it the sky car of the century. All right, all right. Aye, aye. Wait, was I supposed to already be following it? Oh, shit. I, I wasn't following it. I didn't realize. I thought. I didn't realize we'd started. I assume I can never win this, right? Like, it's digital. So they could literally just make the hologram disappear. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can never win that because they can just make the hologram reappear wherever they want it <laughs> Like when it's physical people can still do trickery with like dropping balls on their laps and stuff, but you can't like show zero trickery and Then move it regardless like you have to it has to be visible even if people don't notice it, you know So we have a map here. Oh shit We sure do Okay, uh Let's look down here then first, I guess. Oh my god, this is this is a whole a whole joint. This is gonna take a while. Love to see it. Armax Arena. What the fuck is this? Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Armax Arsenal Arena. Armax Arsenal and the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board have registered you for a complimentary competitors pass. You may start a match by going downstairs and selecting simulator options. When you are ready, enter the locker room. Okay, is this just like... Oh, is it... yeah, okay, it is a combat sim. Not particularly interested in doing that, I don't think. <laughs> feel like feel like there's enough combat in the game that you don't need a combat sim on top of it, <laughs> you know? Well, actually, it might be kind of funny... I don't know what this room is going to be like. I imagine it doesn't just stay, like, empty. Assuming this doesn't open. No. Do you have a career waiting in internal affairs? Okay, let's have a look then. Locker room, which we can't go into. Ha! Okay, there's a scoreboard, and Arya's at the top, of course. Balavon is on it? Hmm. Open the email system to receive messages from Omax Arena and fans. Uh... It's not letting me click it. Oh, 
<laughs> I thought I thought I was locked in because it did like this. It zoomed in and everything. I thought I was locked to this angle. Uh, welcome to your AAA experience. Welcome to the Armax Arena, where the danger is fake, but the excitement is real. New athletes can challenge the Cerberus and Geth enemy sets at the Foot Soldier level. Additional layouts, enemies, and ally licenses can be purchased from the Armax store on the main level of the arena. Completing any match awards a bronze, silver, or gold prize depending on your point totals. These prizes are redeemable at the arena store for credits or to unlock play options. Bonus points can be acquired by finishing the match quickly, capturing bonus objectives, kill streaks, or taking voluntary handicaps. Voluntary advantages can be taken, but these reduce the final score. See you in the sim. Interesting. Level select, enemy select, challenge select, score modifiers, ally select. Wingman. Or Blasteroid. Uh, wingman? Geth? Cerberus? Or random? Cerberus? Uh, foot soldiers? No medigel, one shot. Da -da -da. Okay, so I can't do any of those. Uh, allies select. You know what it is. The next match will be starting soon. Enjoy the show. You know what it is. Athlete's manual. The Armax Arena uses state-of-the-art weapon simulators to produce an exciting near-combat experience. Though weapon impacts are in reality just mild electrical feedback or firm taps from internal mass effect fields, the game itself is as complex as any real encounter. New athletes can only challenge the Cerberus and Geth enemy sets at the Foot Soldier level. Additional layouts, enemies, and ally licenses can be purchased from the Armax store on the main level of the arena. Completing any match awards a prize in the arena store, depending on your point totals. Cool. Uh, if the match finishes in under 5 minutes, there is a bonus of 200 points. A bonus capture objective appears between rounds worth 200 points. Kill streak bonuses accrue whenever a player takes out enemies within 5 seconds of the last kill. The value of the kill streak increases significantly for each additional kill, up to a maximum of 10. Each voluntary handicap adds 10 to 20% to the final score. Each voluntary advantages, advantage reduces the final score by 10. See you in the sim. Okay. Okie dokie. So, uh, we'll take our trusty shotgun, but then pistol. Here we go. <laughs> Here's the insane pistol. I wish I could upgrade it. I mean, maybe I can somewhere. I don't know. This pistol is nutty. I mean, it's called the suppressor one, so I assume I probably can upgrade it somewhere, but fuck knows where. Uh, armor locker is fine. Alright, let's give this thing a shot then, shall we? I feel like, should I even bother with using the shotgun when I have the pistol? Okay. Incendiary, go! Armor piercing, go! Warp, go! Five. Uh, and then singularity and concussive. Sounds about right. Four, three, two, one. I guess we'll run out of ammo for the pistol, right? Hey! Is there anyone else? Five. This thing is just so good. <laughs> it's ridiculously good. Is there anyone left? Oh, hi.
girls want some. Woo! We did it, Reddit. Five, four, three, two, one. Final round. Kill streak. Oh shit! I fell off. What? How do we do? Uh, time bonus under five minutes. Capture objective bonus four hundred. Kill streak ten. Modifier bonus zero. Kill streak score one six zero five. Base score nine twenty. This match brought to you by the Citadel Department of Tourism. Experience Damn. History being made. So I'm pretty sure with no uh, with no modifiers, you can't get gold, right? <laughs> Because I feel like I did alright there. I didn't do amazing, but I did decent, and I only got halfway to gold. I don't think I don't think I could do doubly as good without any modifiers. But sure, sounds sounds good. How do we leave now? Oh, it just does it automatically. Silver prize. So then how can you spend this? Oh man, you could definitely end up getting lost in this for a while, right? <laughs> can we see what's on offer at the other things? Uh, view store inventory. We can, nice. Spin zone. Okay, this is a landscape, I guess. Prime Evil, the Armax Classic. A Turian stadium from the early days of space flight. Pain Train. <laughs> Brimstone. Ally licenses for Rex, for Jack. Oh, damn. For Grunt, Jacob, Miranda, Samara, Kasumi, Zaid. Okay, so you can actually... You can you can get all of your squad mates from previous games and stuff, even if you can't have them as a squad mate in this game. That's cool. That is very cool. Although, <laughs> is, this, is this section different for everyone, or did they base this whole simulation off of Shepard and it just so happens that Shepard is here to try it out and anyone can buy <laughs> Rex and Jack and Grunt. Silver. Uh, what have we got? No. Oh, these are the modifiers. Okay. I feel like if you... I feel like if you get a silver one, you should also get a bronze one, right? Because if, if you want to unlock other squad mates, because getting silver doesn't get you a bronze as well, and that means you have to deliberately start a game and do shit, like, a whole bunch of times to get tokens to unlock everyone else. So I feel like the level that you reach, you should get a token for that and for all levels below it. So if you get a gold, you should also get a silver and a bronze. I feel it's how it should work. Um, uh, no medigel. Well, I didn't use any. Reduce player shields. Uh, I could just charge to get out of that. Enhanced enemy shields would be a bit annoying. Damage wouldn't really matter. No ammo crates. Uh, might be annoying. Enhanced player damage would dunk my score. Reaper combat set. Wait, what? Let's you choose Reaper enemy. Oh, <laughs> in my head I was like, wait, you can fight the ships, but it just means like the Reaperized versions of species. And elite challenge lets you choose more dangerous and higher point value enemies for your matches. Interesting. Interesting. What should we go for then? Oh, fucking speak too soon. Convert to bronze prizes. Okay. And you get three. That's actually even better. <laughs> Fucking past me. Shut up. Shut up, idiot. Didn't know what you were talking about. You can convert to bronze and you get three instead of one. So, yeah, that's actually way better than what I was saying. So, I'll just shut the fuck up. Um, I mean, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to do it again. So, it doesn't really matter. So, uh, I guess no midi gel modifier. If I ever did do it again... That would be good, because I never would need Medigel. 
Well, I mean, I might if my teammates go down, I guess, but... Like they did at the end there, but whatever. Uh, and what about this? Collector combat set. Let's choose collector enemies for your matches. What the fuck? What the fuck? Super Elite Challenge lets you choose very dangerous and very high point value enemies for your matches. Or Mirror Match, fight enemies with different powers based on Commander Shepard's combat ability. Oh man, I really want to fight collectors in Mass Effect 3? What? What? That's cool as shit. Love that. That is, that is, that is cool. I could definitely, I'm not going to let myself get lost in this, but like... You could definitely find yourself getting lost in this. This is a very, very cool addition, I think. I'm a fan. Oh, wait! Oh! Oh, shit! When I, uh, when I opened the map before to look at the areas, I was literally just looking at the map bit and I didn't look over the points of interest to notice that Zaid's around. Huh! That's very cool. That's very, very cool. I just didn't see it. <laughs> Alrighty, let's move on then. Uh, so there's stairs here. The stairs go to... I don't know, it's hard to tell what's upstairs and what's downstairs. I guess let's just start... Uh, let's just explore everything downstairs first and then explore everything upstairs. Is this... Is this taking the piss out of squadmate AI? Is that what that's doing? <laughs> that they, like, stand at top of ramps and don't get in cover and shit sometimes and just, like, bug out? I feel like that's taking the piss out of squadmate AI. <laughs> I wonder what... How are you? Looking forward to tomorrow? Of course I remember. Lands? I thought you could meet me down on the strip. We'd go from there. Anything you want to do. Wanna go where? 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 Can I walk away and get him to continue? He said anything, and then he was shocked by what she wanted. Please continue. Fuck! Did I not walk far enough away, or does it just not work like that? All the way away. I'm not sure that's a selling point. Okay, so it must be because I changed areas. Oh well. So what have we got here? Uh, Castle Arcade. Sure, bud. Welcome to Castle Arcade. Good night. Yellow. Anyone want to chat? Game rules. Target enemies as they appear on the screen. Keep launching allied ships on a row to get them safely to the mass relay to maintain a score multiplier and receive points. Okay. Only three missiles can be active at once. Destroy enemies before they damage the planet. Planet takes too much damage. Game is over. Prize for high score. 200 credits. L to target. Right to launch missile. Left to send a ship. Okay. I'm not entirely sure I understand what I'm doing here, but let's give it a try. Oh, I see. Where am I when, I? when it says send a ship, 
Oh, I get it. Fuck. Enemies approaching. Keep it up. Enemies approaching. Am I doing well? I think I'm doing all right. Shit, that one's fucked. How did I do? Oh my god, people got... I got 316, people got like 800 on this shit? Oh, it's fucking Mouse and Bailey! Oh, that's cool. That's cool. We love Bailey, we love Mouse. Mouse has had... <laughs> Mouse had a very small role in two, and none in one or three, but still. Okay, this is a different one, what's this? Shattered Ezo. Punch your opponent to lower health, to lower their health meter and earn points. Survive as many opponents as possible. Block incoming jabs to prevent damage. Charge up punch to break through blocks. Jab to interrupt an opponent that's charging up. Jabbing when an opponent is blocking reduces score. Oh god. It's a it's a fighting game. You will note that there are zero fighting games on the channel. I've played a few in my time. Generally hate them. <laughs> so uh, the only fighting game I, I like is Super Smash Bros. But obviously that's not like a regular kind of fighting game. But the ones like Street Fighter or Tekken or fucking, you know, Soul Calibur or... All that kind of stuff ain't my jam, but uh, I guess I'll give this a try, but I'm gonna suck at it. <laughs> uh, punch, hold, deliver more powerful punch, block, okay. But yeah, this is definitely uh, not my kind of game. Uh oh. You can do better than that. Don't stop now. Watch out. Nice punch. I'm <laughs> this is this I'm just mashing right trigger at this point. Let's just mash right trigger until we die. Don't stop now. This isn't looking good, but you're doing great. Yeah, I won with no head. Sorry, I've got no head. And now I'm dead. Come on, you bitch. at the top there. Well, I beat James, so you know what? I'll take it. Shifty Cow! <laughs> Shifty Cow is on the scoreboard! <laughs> oh, that's great. That's, that's fantastic. That is fantastic. Did you catch the updated intel report on stripping enemy defenses? It's embarrassing. Yeah, 
that's recruit reading. Which gun to use for best armor penetration? As if anyone carries two guns anymore. <laughs> it's elementary. If you're staring down a hallway at a Cerberus Centurion, you deploy an energy drain on their shields. Or just overload them, sure. And if you come up against a Marauder, you detonate your tech. Exactly. Wait, what? <laughs> exactly. Wait, what? <laughs> Hey! You could win. Hey, bud. How's it? How's it going? You're mine, you bastard. God damn it. Fade. Over here, Shepard. This thing is fucking impossible. <laughs> what are you doing? There was a kid here, sniveling brat, spending all his credits, crying. So you thought you'd get a prize for him? He asked. Looked simple enough. God damn it. Where's the kid? What do I care? <laughs> and now he just wants to Got do the it. Credit, Shepard. Isn't there something better we could go do? What could possibly be more important than Zaid Masani not getting bested by some fucking kids game? <laughs> you really want one of those plushy toys. God damn right I do. Okay then. Credits. Say please. Sure. But even a bounty hunter's got to use his manners once in a while. Please. <laughs> Easy. Easy. It's obviously rigged somehow. Rigged? I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. <laughs> Probably some smart ass Salarian bastard. I'm going back in. Credits. You got this, man. I have faith in you. Here you go, sweetheart. Wait, that's a kid? <laughs> okay, Zaid. We're two. That's oh. All I know. What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino? More claw? Never mind. The kid's gone. He said he didn't know where the kid was. He's just giving it to whoever. I was like, wait, that's who he was doing it for? But no, he's just getting rid. Uh. Sure, let's play. But this time, you play with your own damn credits. I'm man enough to pay for my own addictions, Shepard. <laughs> Addiction? Already? I'm an all-in kind of guy. I think I knew that about you. So you detonate your in emergencies? No, pretty much all the time. Surrounded by husks, tech armor. Rock nice swarmers jumping at me, tech armor. But against a marauder? Surely you'd want the additional protection. Nah, I overload their shields, move in real close, and then detonate. Tech armor takes them right down. But couldn't you just hit them? You can try, but those marauders roll like you would believe. Skirts, I wish I could roll like that. <laughs> what about a brute? Warp field, weaken its armor, let it close, then tech armor. <laughs> Barriers fire a bit if she pulls up that defensive biotic thing. Then tech armor. Yes, sir. Get right in there close enough, and the tech armor even takes out their drones. Damn, tech armor sounded pretty good. When the game starts, player can move the claw, activate the claw above the prize you wish to claim. When any prize that the claw picks up and delivers to the prize slot, value is determined by the color of the ball. Orange is grand prize, which is a weapon mod. And the rest are uh, decoration stuff. Uh, sure. I feel like a, the weapon mod is less interesting than the other stuff. Let's go for a purple. Orange, purple, blue, green. Wait. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I was like, is that purple and that's pink? But no, there is no pink, so that's purple. Okay. Okay. 
area. Oh, it. right, it changes. Oh, wait, I got an orange. Sure. Man, Zaid, seems like you suck, bro. Music track, all right. What will you win? Okay, you can just wait until it turns and then. Plush toy. Okay, that's that's looping, right? Yeah. Oh fuck! I need to I need to get more toys. Wait, it's just giving me credits now. I've made. Wait, if we does that mean that there's only one? Like, is it always credits now? Am I just making cash money by doing this? Okay, so purple is always credits. Uh, we got a green, so let's get a blue, I guess. Another music track. So does that mean everything is run out now and I'm just getting credits from everything? Like, is there any more blues to get or... Oh no, there's more. There's more. What will you win? I mean, you can't lose so long as you line the thing up directly over it, it seems like. I thought this was going to be... I thought it was going to be like an actually difficult game, but it's 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 completely free. Like, in terms of winning. You, you can't lose. I'm going to just keep getting blues until it runs out of stuff to give me, and then I'm going to keep getting greens, I guess. Congratulations. You're a winner. It's got a whole lot of music tracks for me. Boop, 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 boop. Congratulations. You're a winner. What will you win? No, pretty much all the time. How many have you got? How many have you got? They have so much music for me. Got any blue? This one's not turning blue at all anymore. Hello. Oh, I get how it works. Oh, lol, I ran out of time. One of them randomly flickers between a color and orange. I see, I see. And it just happened to be that one that time. Oh, so greens actually run out of stuff to give me. So I should keep getting blue, because blue was keeping on giving me music tracks. But maybe blue will run out soon as well. Oh yeah, blue's run out. Uh, so they've all run out, uh, except for orange. We only, we only got orange once. So, let's see. You're a okay, we can get more from orange, so let's keep getting orange. We're almost out of prizes now, though. Wait, it's moving around more this time. Fuck you. How dare you move around this much? It wasn't moving around like this last time. I missed. I actually missed. Wait, it didn't drop it? I thought you had to line it up directly or it would fuck you. Huh. Why is the orange one moving around so much now? I'm just waiting in the middle in the hope it ever comes, but... It ain't coming.
Does it just never go to the middle? I don't know if there's some pattern that I can follow. Okay, it started in the middle there. Okay, it does keep going back to the middle this time, right? Maybe not. Now it's moving between the top ones. Wait. Oh, it's impossible to get orange now. I see. You can only get a couple of things out of orange, and then it makes it literally impossible to get it. It always moves when you move towards it. Like, let me just prove that. Okay, so where is it hanging around at the moment? It's hanging around middle and middle left-ish. Okay, no, it's moving around more this time. But last time it moved the second that I moved towards it. It does keep going back to the middle this time, though. But as soon as I move my claw here, it doesn't go back to the middle anymore. I swear it. I swear it's impossible to get orange. Like, it was in the middle a bunch, and then I moved my claw to the middle, and it never went back to the middle. I think we've got everything. I think that's it. I think that's GG's. What have we got over here? Oh, right. It's... Like, battleships, I guess? Something like that? Stay out of trouble. I always do. Okay, so we're upstairs now. I should probably go back downstairs. I said I was going to explore all the downstairs first. Alright, okay, yeah. Let's uh let's continue exploring downstairs and then we'll come back up here after. <laughs>